Hey guys, this is Odd One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today's video is going to be about the build of Battle Khazar that I'm using to solo dungeons and you know what not other content. Uh, I have done lots and lots of testing about this and I know that I have already done, I already have a video on Battle Khazar soloing, you know, Ice Golem uh, and Dragon, but I have discovered something that you know it's pretty interesting and it, it can mean you know it can mean the world for people that are trying to look at this and that is i found that the right and the best set for him is actually not the one that you'd expect and that's frenzy like the last video where i showed him soloing ice golem uh 25 and dragon 25 was still in a frenzy set down however in the meantime i was testing out some things with him trying to get him to be faster for the sake of my speed runs in in a seer team when it comes to that it's a little bit different if you want him to be the one that does you know the solo part of the boss at the end on its own i tested regeneration frenzy relentless uh reflex and toxic and it seems that toxic was the best set for me and it was still the it was still reliable it wasn't you know it wasn't failing more often or whatever toxic set on him was the best so i had him in toxic set you know with tanky stats same with resistance to resist the debuffs with accuracy to land his uh debuffs and with about 250 speed because basically what you wanted with that is you would kill the waves really fast with seer and then when you would get out the boss at the boss part he would just solo it because everybody else will will die from the first hit that the golem does so i'm going to show you that after this one runs but the reason like i said the reason for this video is to show you why this one works so much better in frenzy the thing is on, on ice column on 25 because you have those seekers that boost that termiter and put increased attack even though your battle kazar is strong affinity against them they all hit so hard and they go one after the other and you do not get the time to heal enough or like get a turn to heal so by getting the frenzy set this is what happens you see that boost termiter every time he loses hp boom you see that termiter bar shoot up so basically what that does that gives him a chance to cut in and heal either from those continuous heals or heal from him hitting and getting those you know because uh every time he hits all the damage that he does on his on the a1 is converted into healing like 20 percent of that so frenzy is the best set for battle kazar and eurogrim if you're ever gonna build a uh, solo build for them and I'm going to show you this on, on Dragon going as well because it's so much easier. For the sake of Dragon, for example, I have used him in a uh, in a regeneration set and it worked. For Dragon 25, in regeneration, battle worked. I tried, oh yeah, I tried even Immortals, still didn't work. So, for the sake of the Dragon, it works. But when it comes to the Ice Golem, it doesn't really work. The reason why I'm specifically talking so much and I'm doing this a lot on Ice Golem today is because today is another one of those days where, in my opinion, always try to min-max it and be as efficient as possible. And whenever you have something like this, you know, you can do the same thing if there's a Dragon Tournament. But when there's an Ice Golem Tournament going on, even though I'm not going for the fusion, I'm going just for the milestones. This is the first, no, this is the second fusion I'm skipping. First one was Sigmund, this is the second one because it's so bad, it's not worth it. So we have a Dragon Tournament, go, uh, sorry, an Ice Golem Tournament and a Champion Training going at the same time. So what am I, what am I doing? I'm basically min-maxing uh, min this. I'm, I'm hitting the milestones that I care about in Ice Golem while leveling up food. And after I finish that, then I can continue working on my Champion Training because I've still got time. Champion Training, I'm definitely going to do the whole of it because look at that. There's a legendary book in there. I always like the legendary books to get and, you know, might even get the Kia Sword because why not? So... Let me show you the team that I said. I mean, actually, I don't need to show you the speed run on, on 25. I can only show you this. This is the best time. And it's roughly, roughly the average time was like 1 minute and 5 seconds and 1 minute and 15 seconds the most. It was usually around 105 or 110 that I would I would do when, it, when I did the speed run with this team. So, you know, CR Helmet, uh, Ghostborn. I know he's wrong affinity, but I'm bringing him in there for the buff and some extra damage and it still works. Now, let me show you that the same build in Frenzy works, even here, even though he's like, you know, he's not strong affinity, he is a, uh, he's neutral affinity. The one thing to bear in mind is what I'm saying about this 
build is it's not a hundred percent okay this type of builds cannot be a hundred percent because there's always that five percent chance that you know you get the debuff stolen you get something like this happen so normal even when something like this happens this can throw it off a lot however because of the frenzy it can save you but if you have that happen like if you have your debuffs uh if you have your uh if if you get from oathbound the block active skills on you and then you get the What's his face? What's his name? Mystic Hand. If you get a Mystic Hand stealing your, your uh, healings, then you might actually be able to fail. But even like that, you know, honestly, I was expecting this one to fail. So in regen, this one might have maybe would have failed. Would have failed on this one. And look at this. Here, normally, the problem are the Shatter Bones. When they do those hits, they can just destroy, you know, they can destroy us and like, OK, that's it. You lost. But watch this watch this so you get those hits boom he cut in and got a turn he gets hit boom he goes in again that's the beauty of this type of set because of that frenzy keeps giving you terminator every time you you lose hp this is what happens this is what happens he gains an extra turn and you know he keeps going so let's see let's let's finish this wave off slowly and get to the boss part and see how it goes I'm having some technical issues again with this bloody light, but hopefully we're fine. So now when it comes to the boss part, obviously we're wanting to keep going, keep going in there with those poisons as much as possible. I also have two refresh pieces on him. They're not mandatory. It works without them, but you know, having the refresh pieces, it helps you because there's a chance you can, you get back to, to doing those, those poisons as, as fast as possible. Another thing that I put in here on, on him, on his build for the sake of a little bit of RNG, especially for dragon when it does the stun but at the same time for the golem is i'm running resurgent on him so when this happens see he removed the debuff he did not lose a, a turn from that stun because every resurgent he had a 50 50 chance to remove it and boom he removed it once if that didn't happen on that one it would have happened on the next one and you know it's still always gonna work look at this two minutes and five seconds that's definitely worth it so let's have a look at the build that i actually have on him so like I said, this is a frenzy set, you know, that says, that says you gain plus 10% uh, turn meter for every 5% HP loss. So every time he loses like half of his health, he gets an extra turn, he gets 100% turn meter. And at the same time, I'm running one immortal as a backup with him, you know, just in case to have a little bit more healing in there. His total stats are like 220 speed, 305 resist. You need over 300 resistance for the sake of Ice Golem. 219 accuracy. This could be higher, like this accuracy should be like 250, but you know, it's fine. It still works. From all of all the tests that I've done, it still works even with this accuracy. And, you know, uh, everything else was survivability stats. Almost 80,000 HP, 3,000 defense. You know, I have a, I have a max gray hull as well. So, obviously, I have, I have some decent stats in there. Then, the masters that I use, I'm, I'm going down the support and defense tree. I don't really care about the offense tree because I do not want War Master. War Master screws us over when it comes to the Ice Golem boss part because if he procs a War Master when both the ads are up and he, he procs the, the boss's retaliation, we can die. So if, if we do that, we can be one shot. So there's extremely, extremely low chance that he proxy without the War Master. If you put this in, it's it's just going to screw you over. So you don't really need it because you know you do enough damage from your poisons. So what I went is down the support and defense tree. I, I took Oppressor here because, you know, increases the meter fill rate by 2.5% for each active uh, debuff. He places two poisons every single time he does his A2. And this one stacks up to 10%. If you cannot hit the stats that I hit, or if you see that it's not reliable enough that you need more resist or more accuracy on your build, just don't take a presser and just go down to Eagle Eye or to Unshakable, and you know, that gives you some extra stats, and I'm quite sure it's gonna work the same. Make sure you do take Arcane Celerity, and make sure you do take Rapid Response, because you want as much Termiter gain as you possibly can, then down the support you take exactly this route, because you want, you know, less damage from AoEs, chance to remove debuff, also this one taking less damage over time plus cycle of revenge for the sake of boosting your own terminator even if, if you get crit by by some chance you can boost your terminator some more you know it's, it's always good it's always good to have something like this don't take retribution because you know this this just makes it slower you don't want him to keep counter-attacking when he loses that that hp and the same thing don't take revenge accessories on him because it makes it slower uh, when it comes down to like the tier 5 one, I took Master Hexer because obviously I want a chance to extend those poisons and I took Spirit Haste because I knew I was not going to have him the fastest in the world and I was going to have people die. But if you want, you don't have to take Spirit Haste, you can always just take Lasting Gifts for a chance to extend your continuous skills. But yeah, I guess this is going to be it for the video today guys. I hope this is helpful. I know, like I said, I know that I had a... 
I already had a video like six months ago made on this one, but I wanted to come back and, and share share with you my experience of testing every single other sets and saying that you know hands down in my opinion from all of that uh, all of my testing the best set for battle kazar when it comes to soloing dungeons content you know with food champs is a hundred percent the frenzy set it's not the region not relentless not reflex not immortals no it's none of those it's a hundred percent frenzy set but yeah thank you for watching everyone hope this was helpful for you and i will see you in the next one peace